Hello everyone, welcome back to Joyzone Tech. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run Windroid with low memory configuration. This Windows can run smoothly on low-end devices without any issue. Before we get into tutorial, if you are new to this channel, please click on subscribe button and press the bell notification for upcoming new videos. Without wasting any time, let's dive into the tutorial. First open Z Archiver app. Navigate to Downloads folder. If you downloaded the file from my link, you will get the Windows zip file like this. After extraction, you will get Windows image file like this. Now let's configure the Limbo PC emulator for Windows 10. Click on New. Type the Windows machine name as Windows 10. Click on Create. Select Custom. Now let's configure the user interface. Select Display as VNC. Keyboard as default. Under mouse, choose PS2. Now go to board. Select machine as PC. Select CPU model as default. Add CPU cores to 8. Add RAM to 800. Disable TSC. Enable MTTCG. Under Disks, click on Open. Navigate to Downloads folder and select the Windows 10 image file. Under Graphics, select Video Card to VMware. Under Network, Select Network to User. Select Network Card to E1000. Click on Play button. Observe the server address running. Now go to VNC Viewer. Click on Plus button. Under Address. Type the server address shown in Limbo PC. Under name, give name as Windows 10. Click on create. Set the picture quality to high. Disable update desktop preview. Click on connect. It will take you to Windows booting screen. Wait for 10 to 15 minutes for booting process to complete. If you have good high-end devices, the booting time will take less. As you can see, the Windows loading screen has started. Windows 10 is booted successfully. Wait for at least two to three minutes to fully load everything.
Now let's check the storage. you will have 511 GB of virtual storage for your files. Now let's check the Windows properties. As you can see the details of Windows, the processor it uses and the RAM which is about 800 and works fine with this RAM configuration. Internet will work fine. You can check out other features from this Windows image file. So this was the tutorial on Windows 10. Before we wrap up, we want to take a moment to thank you, our viewers, for your time and attention. We appreciate your support and hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We'll do our best to respond as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.